Hello guys and gals, it is Solfax here and welcome to another episode of Mondays with Solfax, a very overdue episode of Mondays with Solfax. Before we start, I gotta warn you that I have some bad news, but I also have some relatively good news for all of you quote-unquote fans out there. So firstly, let's start with the good news. Let's start with the good news because I think that's more appropriate. It's gonna it's gonna lessen the impact of the bad news. At least I hope so. So this Friday, I released a video, another lore video, the first in the series of lore videos talking about Yennefer of Wengenberg, and it went well. It really went well. I'm relatively happy with the video, and I've been reminded how difficult it is to actually record proper footage for video where I'm talking about very abstract stuff. So I'm not like literally talking about a story and a series of events, I'm just talking about how magic works and what magic is and stuff like that. And it's kind of hard to find footage for that, but I think I've managed relatively okay. The next one is going to be definitely better, but there we come to a small, I wouldn't say an issue with the video, but thing that uh, just happened. So I'm just going to come out and say it. I made a couple of mistakes in that lore video, a couple of things that I've said might not be factually correct, and some things that I've said are definitely not factually correct, and those mistakes were pointed out to me by a person that I will name just a little bit later, but I need to say that I am at fault for those mistakes, because if I just done the required reading before making this video, all of that could have been avoided. So before I start, let me preface that I've prefaced preface is that how you say that word let me just note that i've read through the novels and the collection of short stories three times already and the last time that i've read through all of the novels was late 2016 so that's like six six and a half maybe seven months ago so yeah it's been some time since i've read through the novels and to tell you the truth i'm not such a big fan of the novels as i am of the collection of the short stories so i really prefer the last wish and the sword of destiny over the novels because or that, that's just my type of content, I think, my type of writing where there is a short story that is concise, has a beginning and an end, and you can read through it in literally one sitting. Like, you can read through it in 15 minutes, so that's what I like. But the novels themselves, while they are great, they are really not my type of thing, so I haven't read through them in, like I said, maybe seven months. And in those seven months, I've read a lot of things, and <laughs> some things just, just kind of phase out of my brain, out of my memory. Some new information comes in, old information comes out and I forgot a couple of things so this first Witcher lore video that is focusing on Yennefer I talked about her beginnings about her childhood how she was born with a certain deformity and stuff like that and I have completely forgotten about the fact that there is something written in the books about her childhood that is there is a flashback in one of the books in one of the novels that is I think it is time of contempt or maybe even lady of the lake which is the last novel Anyhow, it is a flashback in which she remembers how her parents were very cruel to her and how they didn't really love her. And I made a different suggestion in the video because the things that I've said in the video were, were said in the absence of the knowledge that I currently possess. So I did not really remember that there is a flashback that talks about her childhood. In the books, I, uh, excuse me, not in the books, in the video, I presented it as if her mother might have been sad when she had to send her away to the Magic Academy, but in the books it is really clear that her mother was, she didn't really like her, and her father, father, father was abusive, and he beat her, and she, he really, really didn't like her, he really hated her, and everything about her, so, yeah, that is that mistake, but also want to thank, um, oh, what's this, what's this called, it is, uh, Goliath O'Neill, Goliath O'Neill, one seven one one seven three who made, who pointed this out to me, I'm really thankful for you for that, because you made me realize that I have a flaw currently that I need to fix, and that is I need to read through novels yet again before I make the next episode of Witcher Lore, and I also need to find a way to ratify this mistake in the next episode, and I had an idea like saying that uh, the things that I've said in the first episodes are quote-unquote publicly available information about the NFR, and what I say in the third episode is Geralt's personal knowledge, or serious personal knowledge, that the NFR passed on to them, that she talked about her childhood, but that is again not mentioned in the book, so it's gonna be again kind of winging it and just making shit up, but I hope I will be able to fix it, so yeah. But other than that, that first episode of Witcher Lore Yennefer Edition went well. It got a couple of views, and what's kind of more surprising to me, it got a lot of subscribers. I got a lot of subscribers for that video, and I'm really thankful to, to all of you who watched that video, and I hope that people who are watching this video feel welcomed to our very small community that now counts 602 
two subscribers. That is a lot of subscribers in my opinion. Yeah, now that the good news are out of the way, let's talk about the bad news. Some of you that have been watching me for some time might notice that there is a distinct difference in the quality of audio in this video and in the videos that came before it, specifically in the Witcher lore videos and in the other episode of Monday, in the other episodes of Mondays with Soulfax. And the reason for that is found in the problem, the bad news that I wanted to talk to you about today. So, a couple of days ago, I encountered a problem on my PC that occurred after we decided to uh, disassemble the PC, take all the components out except the motherboard, clean them all out, put them back in, and plug it all out. It worked, we managed to do it, but there was a problem that I've encountered two days after that, where, for some reason, I don't know why this happened, I couldn't find the reason for it online and people just said it that it happened, uh, Windows decided to reserve half of my gigabytes, half of my RAM, over to BIOS and hardware use. So I have 8, eight gigabytes of RAM in my PC and decided to reserve four of it for hardware and BIOS use. And it's not such a big deal that I couldn't use the computer at that time, but it, I really couldn't run the games that I wanted to game at the frame, uh, run the games that I wanted to play at the frame rates that I needed to play them on to be like good at them with only four gigabytes of RAM. So I decided to try a couple of things. I tried a lot of things that I found online. All of the things that I've tried were very uninvasive. I didn't even, I didn't even freaking touch the, the casing of the computer. I just did a couple of things, but anyhow, after a couple of hours of trying to fix the problem, I just kind of gave up for the time being. I just said like I was very stressed because this was annoying me to no freaking end and I went outside to go drive my bike for a while to just cool off. And while I was away, my brother, who is basically the owner of that PC because he bought most of the components in it, other than the motherboard, the hard drive, and the CD drive, which were basically the cheapest things that are in the computer, uh, he decided to try and take things matters, try and take things, try and take things into his own hands. And he made a small boo-boo. Well, basically, he followed instructions online that are basically how you solve this problem but because something went wrong something went wrong so he decided to mess about with the motherboard and try to reset the bios and the way you do that is you firstly take out the battery from the motherboard it's a very small battery and you either you usually have either a button or a couple of pins that you need to switch around to make the motherboard reset itself and to get a fresh lineup of BIOS after which you can boot the computer with a something and then you can reinstall the drivers reinstall the windows excuse me so he tried to do that and something went wrong I don't know what went wrong uh, he didn't do anything wrong from what I know we talked about it and he didn't do anything wrong but what I'm suspecting what went wrong is the age of my motherboard the motherboard that we currently have in the computer was bought in 2012 and it is a 2011 model and at the time it was not the best motherboard it was really just a mid mid-range motherboard and after almost six years now of constant use it was yeah it was just at the end of its life cycle and i think it just decided to die and after he switched out the battery and the pins and all of that it still wasn't working we were just getting a black screen of death and yeah after a couple of hours of trying fiddling around putting in other hardware that we had around trying to reassemble the old pc that we had almost two years ago now uh, we couldn't get the motherboard or the computer itself to boot up at all and then we decided just to leave it out Just to leave it and try tomorrow and this is where you get to the bad news if you think this is not the bad news It gets even worse. So tomorrow morning. I was woken by a crash a loud noise of some sort and I got up from my bed It was around 10 a.m. I think 9 a.m. I'm not, not really sure I got up from bed and I, and I uh, smelled a very horrible stench, stench coming from the PC room where we hold the PC. And when I come in there, came in there, I saw my brother standing over our tower and the tower itself was smoking. It was literally smoking and it smelled so bad. I can't even describe the smell. It lingered in my nostrils for at least a couple of hours after we aired the whole house out. But what basically happened is he decided to fix it again on his own hand and while the computer was turned off he switched a switch on the back of the computer more precisely on the PSU on the power supply that switches the voltage that the PSU receives from 230 
volts, which is the standard for Europe, to 140 volts, which is the standard for United States. I don't know what it's the standard for. But anyhow, while he did that, the computer was still plugged in the wall, but it was not turned on, and he thought it was completely safe, which, in retrospect, it should be completely safe, because it's not turned on, it's not actually using electricity at the moment, at least I think it's not. But what happened, for some reason, he switched it, and then the computer started whizzing, and then the power supply started to smoke out, and then it just kind of burned out. Yeah. Now the power supply and the motherboard are both broken, and I don't have a PC that I can render videos on properly, render proper videos on, or play games at. And I'm currently recording this on my other brother's video, uh, my other brother's computer, which is a very old PC, and it's not very good and can barely run Hearthstone, let alone Dark Souls and Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid 5, which was the game that I was playing before my computer decided to compete to commit seppuku. So yeah, that is the bad news. So I need to just come out to say this, as much as it hurts me, really, because I really do enjoy making videos, especially lore videos. There will be no more lore videos in the foreseeable future. I will try to fix this problem. I mean, almost oh, almost as soon as that happened, I listed my phone, which is an LG G4 on the local I wanna sell shit website, uh, so I can buy the, uh, <clears throat> the PSU and the motherboard, but so far nobody responded because, well, it's a two-year-old phone and it doesn't come with anything but just the phone itself. And I've started looking for a job very actively. I've actually got a couple of uh, numbers that I need to call. But uh, still, the most optimistic projection is at least two, maybe three weeks before I'm able to start working on a video again. And that's even more annoying when you consider the fact that my channel has reached 600 viewers, 600 subscribers, excuse me. And I've, I think the last video garnered me around 25, maybe 30 more subscribers, which I'm really thankful for. Thank you all guys for subscribing and watching my content. I really do appreciate it. And it's really annoying that I can't return the favor by making more awesome videos for you guys to watch. And again, it's really annoying because I really enjoy making those videos. And that's, <laughs> that's what I usually do during the day. I make videos. But yeah, I'm going to try to fix it by getting a job and actually making money. And I'm going to build an even better PC. So while it is a... Uh, unfortunate set of circumstances is going to turn out better than it probably should turn out because I will not spare any expenses on this next PC that I'm going to build. I'm going to build it for me and for me exclusively. I'm going to make it fucking awesome. I'm going to make it fucking awesome that I'm going to be able to record videos in 1080p 60 frames per second no problem. But yeah, that's what happened and um, I'm going to end the video right now. I'm going to end this video. I will try to keep you up to date via Twitter and via YouTube but till then Till we make, till I make my grand return to YouTube. I hope you're well, and I'll see you some other time. Bye bye.